Hello, my lovelies. Happy Friday. You've made it through another week. Let's see what we have going on for you for the weekend. What do we need to know? Stop obsessing. You are not the fucking center of the universe. Are you trying to kind of make the world revolve around you? That might lead to some issues. It's not to everyone else's fault. It's yours. You're a grown ass adult. So stop blaming others for your shit. Do you need to take accountability somewhere in life? That might be where you start. Get the fuck out of your head and get into your heart. It misses you. And what in the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you're waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. So Spirit's telling you there's something you've been holding back on that you may need to take some action on. What do we need to know for the weekend? Fire, water, air, and earth. What do they need to know? All right. Well, you might be sitting in some really good energy, financially speaking. I feel like this is telling you that you're working on building a legacy or an empire. You might be a mentor to others. You're bringing forth some good luck, some good fortune, maybe even love. All right. So some unexpected money could be coming to you. It could also be marriage and commitment. Could be a new person for some and existing for others. Watch out for some sort of temptation to rear its ugly head. Head, addictions, codependency, and toxicity say no to those things. And we definitely have the need to go in a new direction. So reevaluate the things in your life. What's what's good, what's not good, and see if you need to go in a new direction. Start planning for the future. Be willing to take a step in a new direction or a leap of faith altogether and try new things. I feel like somebody is wanting to go towards marriage and commitment, but they're a little hesitant. So that might need to change as well. Again, blessings, financial gain coming in. You may have manifested this to change. You're gathering your your confidence and following your passions. There is communication that's coming in. I feel like you've been left kind of in the dark or a little confused. And so that's going to change as well. This person might see you as their divine counterpart, the Empress, creation, creativity, nurturing, empathetic energy, and the divine counterparts are both here. We love to see that. So I feel like for some of you, this could be a new person. For others of you, this is your divine counterpart. This is who you're supposed to be in union with. So this weekend, some things may change. I feel like there's communication coming in. In. It takes a lot of courage for this person to come towards you. They've been working on building an empire just like you, and I feel like they are very loyal to you. They've been doing the shadow work. Hopefully you have too. I feel like this person is very free-spirited, like they weren't the committal type, but something is changing. They're listening to their intuition, and of course, we have temperance out here creating divine timing. So whatever is going on in your world this weekend, know that there's some sort of um, divine timing at work as well as divine intervention and transforming heavy and leaden things into light and gold. For some of you, it could be your forever person bringing in that emotional fulfillment. Know that a choice needs to be made when it comes to love this week. Use your logic. It's going to be your strong suit. This person wants to come in and offer you the world. You're closing out old cycles to get to the good stuff. So let the old stuff go and welcome in the new stuff. It's going to be 360 degrees full circle. Have a great weekend.